Hello Precalc. This is the last uh, rendition in our series and sequence study and it's called Rational Numbers. It is Tuesday's video and we are looking at what a rational number is. Somewhere in your deep bright math past you learn that a rational number is a number that can be written as a ratio, thus the word rational, a ratio of integers. Integers are all the numbers that are negative whole numbers, zero and positive whole numbers. Those are called the integers. So a ratio of integers would be like negative 3 over 2, a ratio. So 3 halves is a, is a fraction or a ratio. I can take 101 over 1001. That is a rational number. What about the number 4? Well, if it can be written as a ratio, of integers then it is a rational number. What about the number seven and a third? Can that be written as a ratio of integers? 22 thirds. It can. Alright, so there are lots and lots of, of uh, rational numbers and I was wondering if this is a rational number. How can a decimal that goes on forever be a rational number? Or perhaps you remember when you learned about rational numbers that they also include repeating decimals. So a repeating decimal like this can be written also is 0.17 with a bar over top of it. That means the same as this. So we have been taught in the past that de repeating decimals are rational, so therefore they must be able to be written as a ratio of integers. So I'm going to ask you to write 0.17171717 as a ratio of integers. To do that, we're going to use our infinite summation of a geometric series formula. This one. That's the last one we learned. Simple, even though it goes on for infinity. A1 over 1 minus R being the common ratio. Alright, so I'm going to do that by observing that this is a geometric series. So watch. 0.17. This equals this. 0.17 plus 0 0.0017. So you see when I add these I get this, 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 and that. So then to get this I'm going to add 0 0.0000, zeros I mean, 17, and 0 0.0000017. You see if I add these up if I go on forever in the like manner and I add them all up, I get 0.1717 plus 0 0.0000 forever. All right, so I'm going to write this instead of vertically, I'm going to write it horizontally. So 0.17 with the bar over it means 0.17 oops plus 0.0017 plus 0.00017 etc all right so this is an infinite series and what is r what did i multiply this number by to get this number well if you multiply 0 .07, 0 0.17 by 0 0.01, ah, can't write tonight. 
0 0.01, you'll see that you do you get this. And if you multiply this by 0 0.01, you get that. And so on. So this is the common ratio. And is that between 1 and negative 1? Or I should say between negative 1 and 1. Is it in between negative 1 and 1? What's the, it means one hundredth, so yes it is. So therefore, R is between negative one and one. It is an infinite series, so we can use this formula. The first term is 0.17, and the common ratio is 0.01. So what's 0.17 over, Point 1 minus point oh 0.01 is point 0.99. So you would think I was done, except this definition says it has to be a ratio of integers. So the inti these are not integers, these are decimals. So what can I do to this to create a ratio of integers? Well, I can multiply the top by 100 and the bottom by 100 because 100 over 100 is just 1. So I haven't changed the value, just the form. So that will create, the decimal will go over twice on the bottom and twice on the top. So I maintain that 17 over 99, if you put that into your calculator, you will see that it gives you 0.171717. So I'm going to be giving you uh, problems like this and I'll just discuss one more and this time I'm going to say put a 2 in front so let's say the repeating part the repeating part doesn't start right away so that 2 is not part of the repeating part so this time I'm going to write it like this point 2 plus to get this part, I need 0, 1, 5, and then 0, 0, point. So I've got this, this, and this, point zero 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 one five plus point zero 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 one five. So and so on. So the the um, actual part that I'm going to put into the formula will start here. I can't ignore that. That's two tenths or one fifth. So I'm going to add that to the value that I get for this repeating decimal part. So let's do that. Remember, we're going to use a sub one over one minus r if r is between one and negative negative one and one. So here. What did I multiply this by to get this? Again, can you see that 0 0.015 times 0 0.01 will give me 0 0.00015. So once again, it's 0 0.01. So that's the common ratio, and I'm going to put it into the formula. The first, now this is the um, this is the series, the infinite series that I'm looking at. So the first term is 0 0.015 and 1 minus 0 0.99 again. All right, so when I do that, I get, I get, I get, I get um, 1 fifth plus 0 0.015 over 1 minus 0.99. Oh, I'm sorry, I was thinking ahead. The common ratio I said was 0 0.01. So 1 minus 0 0.01 is 0.99. So I want to make this into a it ratio of integers. So this time I have to move the decimal over 3 in the top and 3 in the bottom. So I'm going to multiply by 1,000 over 1,000. And that gives me 15 over 1, 2, 3, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 0.
So I moved the decimal three to the right here and three to the right here, which is the equivalent of multiplying by a thousand over a thousand, which is a one. So my one fifth, so I can't forget my one fifth plus 15 over 990. So when I do the fraction work, uh, one fifth I think is 15,990s. Fifteen nine nineties and then I'm sorry, one fifth is how many nine nine nineties? Hmm. My fractions are a little stale tonight. Let's see, five into nine ninety. I can do this. Okay, now I got it. So 15,990s, one-fifth is 198. That's what happens when I don't bring my calculator to the screen. So when I add those together, it looks like I get 213,990s. And that reduces probably by a 3. So I get 71 over 330. I think that's as low as that'll go. So. Tap that out on your calculator, 71 over 330, and see if you get what we started with, 0 0.215, etc. So you can verify that for me and tell me about it tomorrow. All right, these are kind of problems that I want you to be able to do. So uh, look over it a couple times if it didn't come through the first time. Rewatch that so that you, when you come in, and you reach this lesson, you will be able to do it. All right, talk to you tomorrow. Over and out.